Bad behavior makes for great reality TV, but for these couples, the drama got a little too real. So was it the lying, the cheating, the murderous threats? These stars show the love in all the worst ways. David Eason and Janelle Evans might be responsible for one of the most turbulent relationships we've ever seen on TV. Teen Mom 2 star Janelle brought David into the spotlight, but MTV was quick to let him go after he posted homophobic content on social media. Then, in 2019, Us Weekly reported that David had killed Janelle's dog, Nugget. Allegedly, the dog had lurched at their daughter. But rather than rehome the pup, David grabbed a gun. I love the dog. I still think about her every day. Following the incident, the network also dropped Janelle, and that October, she filed for divorce. A month later, Janelle secured a restraining order claiming David was abusive. After he allegedly assaulted Janelle's friend, James Spivey, in June 2020, Page Six reported, he was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. He also allegedly shouted, I will blow your f brains out at Spivey. But despite the split and jaw-dropping allegations, Janelle and David soon got back together. Now sharing their family life on their YouTube channel, Janelle continues to defend David despite pushback from fans. Fans of Temptation Island know just what went down between Evan Smith and Casey Campbell. Ready to test out their bond with each other, the couple of 10 years joined the reality show for its first season. And apparently Evan quickly succumbed to the temptation part. No matter how much I love you, I've opened my heart up to someone else. On the show, he met Morgan Lawler, and by the end of the season, he proposed to her. But this relationship was no fairy tale either. Morgan later told Us Weekly that Evan was both unfaithful and broke, claiming that he didn't work while he lived with her for nearly 18 months. She said, I supported him financially, and his excuse for abruptly leaving two days before we were supposed to move to LA was that he needed to go work to be able to pay me back. Morgan then reached out to Casey to commiserate. She explained, I thought back on Temptation Island and how Casey and he ended, and I'm like, oh my god, he's saying the exact same things to me that he's saying to her. In happier news, Casey responded well, and the two ladies became close over their shared, if not terrible, experiences with Evan. It's such a blessing, and I'm very glad he's gone. He stole 10 years of my life. Tristan Thompson conjured both fan and family wrath for fully disrespecting Khloe Kardashian. The two first went public in August 2016. Khloe told ES Magazine in April 2017 that she was in love and ready to say yes to marriage. Then, in December that year, Khloe announced their pregnancy on Instagram, writing, Thank you for making me feel beautiful at all stages. Tristan, most of all, thank you for making me a mommy. You have made this experience even more magical than I could have envisioned. But just two Two days before their daughter True was born in April 2018, Tristan was spotted kissing other women, according to just about every outlet. Still, the pair reconciled, but by February 2019, they were broken up again. According to People, Tristan had gotten way too close to the lips of Kylie Jenner's best friend, Jordan Woods. Right now, I don't feel much of anything. I'm so, it's like I'm in shock. It's a lot is happening. But despite the drummed-up drama for the show, co-parenting was seemingly working for the pair, with sources claiming they were moving in together and the couple teasing more kids on the show. But the duo split for good in June 2021, and that December, fitness model Marilyn Nichols announced that Tristan had gotten her pregnant back in March of that year. Yikes! Teen Mom 2 star Javi Marikin landed in the spotlight with then-wife Kaylin Lowry, but the couple split in 2016. A year later, Javi got together with Lauren Como. They soon split up, and Javi hooked up with Brianna De Jesus. Then Kaylin again, then back to Lauren in March 2018. While he was still with Brianna, Javi told In Touch in 2017, I never believed in love at first sight, but when I saw Lauren, I definitely did. I'm hoping Lauren and I can figure this out, because she made me the happy I've ever been. But things then got really serious when Javi announced that he and Lauren were expecting. The couple welcomed son Eli in November 2018. It was then that the situation began to change for the new family. In August 2019, Ashley's reality roundup reported on a police call at their home after Javi and Lauren got into a fight. Radar Online later claimed that Lauren allegedly caught Javi with another woman in their home. Then, in 2020, Kaylin claimed Javi tried to hook up with her while he was still with Lauren. I came here with Javi with no intentions of getting back together. Jeez. 
Chris and Caitlyn Jenner got married in 1991 in what appeared to be a match made in heaven. They each had four kids, they were both divorced, and were happy to Brady bunch it up for the cameras. But over a whopping 20 seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chris and Caitlyn's relationship became a point of contention. In 2013, Chris announced the pair had separated, telling USA Today, There is no animosity. We are united and committed to our family. We ended a marriage, but that's not the end of our friendship. They divorced in 2014. A year later, Caitlyn announced that she was transitioning. But the greatest beauty is inner peace of mind about who you are as a person. Still, despite those claims of friendship, things got rocky when Caitlyn dropped her tell-all memoir, Secrets of My Life, in 2017. She wrote, I tell Chris about my gender issues before I make love to her. This will always be a subject of dispute between Chris and me as to how much she could intuit about my gender issues. All through the book, Chris knew. Chris knew before I even made love to her. Caitlin also claimed that Chris controlled everyone's finances. The very public diss was heartbreaking to Chris, and it all played out on the show. Why does everything have to be that Chris is such a and an ass? Claiming that she confronted Caitlyn about the accusations and that Caitlyn brushed her off, Chris was completely blindsided by the claims that she somehow knew Caitlyn's true identity the whole time. I've never been so angry and disappointed in somebody in my whole life. I'm done. Season 10 Bachelorette Andy Dorfman gave her final rose to Josh Murray. But while fans hoped they would last forever, they were quickly proven wrong. As Andy recalled in her memoir, It's Not Okay, I was 100% sure I'd spend my life with him. It was the most volatile and f up relationship of my life. In typical form for the Bachelor franchise, Andy enjoyed a night with Nick Vile in the fantasy suites before picking Josh. And when Andy later admitted to initially lying to Josh about it, Josh reportedly became furious and verbally abusive. Andy wrote, Several more apologies later, it became clear the issue was about my having sex with someone else. That one sexual escapade would become a power play used by my fiancé to justify his mistrust in me. It would be an excuse to call me a and it would eventually lead to the demise of my engagement. You just have to take it by the horns and deal with it. In response to the allegations, Josh said in a statement to Us Weekly, It saddens me and is very unfortunate that Andy has chosen to characterize me in such a negative way. I pray she finds peace. To that, Andy clapped back on Twitter, I speak two languages, English and truth. OG teen mom star Amber Portwood and her then-boyfriend Andrew Glennon endured a very rocky relationship. The couple welcomed their son James in 2018, but by July 2019, Amber was arrested on domestic battery charges. As TMZ reported, Andrew locked himself in a room with their son while Amber hacked at the door with a machete, some of which was caught on security camera. The couple split in 2019 and immediately launched into a highly contentious custody battle. According to the Sun, Andrew is the primary custodian, but that hasn't stopped the drama. In one instance, when Amber texted Andrew a picture of a sore on James' lip, Andrew posted it to Instagram stories, allegedly writing, You hit your baby boy? Really? According to the outlet, Amber's legal team called the comments false and defamatory. This has all been hell. In October 2021, Andrew demanded that Amber provide a drug test. In court papers, he claimed that he had witnessed Amber under the influence of illegal drugs previously, specifically methamphetamine. For her part, Amber continues to deny the claims. 19 kids and counting followed the wholesome lives of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar and their many children. But when it came to their oldest son, Josh, things took a very dark turn. According to The Sun in 2015, news broke on allegations that he had molested several girls when he was still a teen, including some of his sisters. Josh married Anna Duggar in 2008, and the pair went on to welcome seven children together. But in August 2015, reports aired that Josh had been using Ashley Madison, a website for married people, looking for affairs. He wrote on the family blog at the time, I have been the biggest hypocrite ever. While espousing faith and family values, I have secretly over the last several years been viewing pornography on the internet, and this became a secret addiction, and I became unfaithful to my wife. I was just like, I'm going to wake up and everything's going to be okay, and this really, this can't be true. 
Anna stuck by his side and they enrolled in marriage counseling. Then in April 2021, Josh was arrested only days after announcing that Anna was pregnant with baby number seven. According to People, that December, Josh was found guilty of possessing underage explicit material. As of early 2022, he awaits sentencing. Season 15 Bachelorette fans watched as Hannah Brown fell for musician Jed Wyatt, but it was Hannah's parents who saw the red flags. Suspecting that Jed wasn't financially secure and was also not pursuing Hannah for the right reasons. Jed said on the show, It seems like they were mainly concerned with the financial aspect of our relationship. They don't think I'm adequate or something. I thought it was going to be one story and it ended up being a completely different story. As we know now, the parents were on to something. Shortly after Jed proposed in Greece, people broke the news that he had a girlfriend, Haley Stevens, all along. Speaking for herself, Haley told the outlet, he said, it's probably not going to happen, but it's a huge opportunity. I'm only doing this for my music. He only did it for his career. For the record, Jed did kind of reveal to Hannah that he saw the show as a chance for exposure, but then explained his change of heart, adding, I came in with that mindset, but every moment that we've had has taken that away and shown me that now more than anything, I want to be with you. But Haley's story poked giant holes in the romantic facade Jed had constructed. On the show, Hannah revealed that Jed had claimed he broke off his relationship seven days earlier. But after the real story came to light, Hannah called the whole thing off. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, oh, that thing? Oh, that time I cried like every other day? Oh, this was totally worth it. When season 22 Bachelor Ari Leyendyke proposed to Becca Kufrin, everyone thought it was meant to be, except Ari. And two months later, he revealed his brutal change of mind, telling Becca on camera that it was over. As Becca's heart broke in front of millions of fans, Ari revealed he wanted to give things a shot with runner-up Lauren Burnham. Fan backlash was fast and intense, with most claiming Ari had been careless with Becca's feelings. At the time, she told him, I feel like my future was ripped away. Ari later later apologized to Becca in front of a live audience, a gesture she graciously accepted. But despite the crushing heartbreak, there's a happy ending for both Ari and Becca, just not with each other. Also, there's like a lot more I think that I didn't ever know about that went down, so it's like at this part point in my life, I'm like, whatever. Lauren and Ari are now happily married and are raising three children together. And Becca went on to become the Bachelorette for season 14 and chose Garrett. But when that ended, she signed on for Bachelor in Paradise in 2021 and finally found forever love with Thomas Jacobs. Well, at least it's lasted for more than two months. John and Kate Gosselin became household names thanks to John and Kate Plus 8. The series was a runaway hit, following the lives of two tired, bickering parents and their sets of twins and sextuplets. Then in 2009, John was photographed leaving a bar with 23-year-old Deanna Hummel. Deanna's brother alleged that they had been having an ongoing affair. John denied the claims but still admitted it was bad form to be out late with another woman. But the airing of the photos prompted Kate to admit that they had been going through a rough patch. She revealed to People in May 2009, I don't know that we're in the same place anymore, that we want the same thing. After 10 years of marriage, John and Kate announced that they were divorcing the following month. That September, John hit the talk show circuit, alleging to Good Morning America that Kate had verbally belittled him throughout their marriage. And I took a lot of abuse from her. The two went back and forth in the press, with John claiming Kate was keeping the kids away from him. But older daughter Maddie finally set things straight, telling People in 2016, he makes it seem like we're being kept from him, which is insane. He should maybe spend some time thinking about why we don't want to see him. Talking about us on TV is not the way to make that happen. Megan King and Jim Edmonds appeared on Bravo's Real Housewives of Orange County, where fans watched them endure all the ups and downs. The couple faced fertility issues but were finally able to conceive through IVF, and together they welcomed a daughter and twin boys. But during Megan's pregnancy with the twins in June 2019, allegations regarding Jim's infidelity hit the press. According to Us Weekly, he reportedly sent out explicit photos and videos on the same day that Megan was in labor. Jim denied the accusations claiming, Regrettably, I had a lapse in judgment. I engaged in an inappropriate conversation with this person. At no time was there any type of relationship or physical contact. I never had any sort of a physical relationship outside of my marriage with her or anyone else. I can't even say what has happened when I'm not there. 
But in October 2019, Jim filed for divorce. Megan accused him of having an affair with their 22-year-old nanny. In a blog post, Megan explained, To be clear, I don't know if Jim slept with our babysitter or whether they were just being exceedingly inappropriate by hanging out socially without either of them telling me, and Jim expressly lying to me about it. I am broken for my family. I am buried in despair. Claire Crawley has truly been unlucky in love on The Bachelor franchise. The stylist first appeared on season 18 of The Bachelor, where Juan Pablo Galavis invited her to share the fantasy suite. But while things appeared to be going well between the couple, Juan Pablo said something privately to her during one of their dates that didn't go over well. Claire recalled on the show, What I thought was going to be sweet, kind, loving words was not what came out of his mouth, and I'm shocked. He chose to tell me something that no woman wants to hear, that he doesn't know me and some sexual thing, I don't even want to repeat it. It was insulting, it was offensive, and it just made me feel awful. Ultimately, Juan Pablo proposed to Claire's closest competition, Nikki Farrell. And when he told Claire, she gave him such a shakedown that it became part of the fabric of Bachelor Nation. She said, I thought I knew what kind of man you were. I lost respect for you. What you just made me go through, I would never want my children having a father like you. At the end of the day, I listened to my gut, I followed my gut, and it didn't lead me astray. And just to top off the train wreck of a season, things didn't work out between Juan Pablo and Nikki either. Kendra Wilkinson is no stranger to reality TV. The blonde bombshell made her debut with E's Girls Next Door in 2005, offering fans a glimpse at life inside the Playboy Mansion. People assume that we are all <laughs> After the show, Kendra moved on from Hef with NFL star Hank Baskett. The two got married at the mansion in June 2009, and with that, the sporty reality star became the familiar face of her very own brand new reality series, Kendra, which featured her daily life with Hank and their growing family. But things got difficult for the couple in 2010 when an explicit tape was leaked of the former girl next door long before she knew Hank. She said on an episode of their show, It's hard on him because it involves another guy of course, and it's hard on him because of our son and everything. But Hank wasn't a completely innocent party in the relationship. In July 2014, news broke that he had cheated on a very pregnant Kendra with model Ava Sabrina London, according to Us Weekly. Denying that anything actually went on between himself and Sabrina, Hank also admitted to people at the time, I messed up. I put myself in a bad situation, and everything through me brought pain upon this family. This person came to me and touched me. I mean, what can I do? What am I supposed to do? For her part, Kendra forgave her hubby after the incident, but in February 2015, during her stint on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, she kissed her co-star Jimmy Bullard. Three years later in 2018, Kendra and Hank ultimately announced that they were splitting for good. The pair have since remained civilized co-parents to their two children. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.